Hello. Today I am doing a gentle Pilates class. So this is with a specific patient in mind who has hip OA. And finding a pelvic tilt that feels like it's neutral so this is a nice place to find it hands on hips with your hands on your hips you're bringing your pubic bone towards your navel so you're gonna feel that lower back against the floor and then arching and coming to a happy middle ground there hands are flat on the mat floating right knee up we're going to start with hip circles so really starting with small gentle circles having the the core drawn in so that the pelvis isn't flipping up and down or rocking like a boat you're pressing the left foot into the mat as you do so so notice my circles are really small i'm working on proprioception so position sense and this is important because we get some smudging it's my new favorite word smudging smudging happens when we are injured inflamed or otherwise in pain in an area it's our body's inability to really kind of connect to that area and so this is allowing us to do so and you'll notice even though these are tiny circles and i don't have hip pain it's getting kind of shaky because I'm really working on deeper, deeper muscles, small rotators as I do this. And we're going to reverse that. Now you can make that bigger, but make sure that you're not rocking like a boat side to side as you do this. So mobility is important when you have osteoarthritis because it will lubricate the joints, but it's also important to do so in a way that feels safe and good and well supported. And you're gonna do that on the other side. So if you specifically have one cranky side, it's great to just give it a break and do both sides. Now I need to check in with your breath. Are you breathing fully? Are you freezing because you've left the door open? That's me. <laughs> I left the door open for the natural light and now it's so cold. Today I decided to wear like regular gear because I really, I really quite like Lululemon and I like, you know, the special Pilates gear, but I also really want to convey the message that we can drop down or, or hop on the bed any moment at any time and we don't need special Pilates gear or special Pilates equipment to really find that benefit. So here we go. Also, I was a little lazy because I have the microphone on my, my blouse already. All right. So hip circles, even though it's just those hips, will combine a little bit of that inner core engagement. And just as a note, as a next step, eventually that hip circle can have a longer lever and you can reach that leg out when hitting the chair as you do so, and you'll find it's more challenging as you go through that circle. All right, so the next one that we're going to do is called knee fallout. And with the knee fallout, you're still controlling this mobility with your core. Now it's important for you to know that if you feel pain as you come out, you can just have your hand there to control the descent just so that that feels a little bit better for you. Sometimes when you're finding that this is actually not feeling great, you might find that if you kind of squeeze your bum or even activate the muscle that's working, so on the up, I can press and activate my inner thigh muscles, my adductors, but that actually helps to make you feel better. So activation of muscles is really protective 
through the exercises and in general. And then we're going to do knee, fall, knee followed on the other side. So I always like to have my hand on my head just to make sure that I am not rocking like a boat. Now it's really important for me um, to help people feel like Pilates is really accessible um, because it does usually have um, kind of a relationship to more intense workouts, but Pilates is really a brilliant way to activate your core and the whole body in a way that's better aligned. And it really focuses on exploring your body and gaining awareness. And so that is, that is for everyone. That is absolutely for everyone, and everyone should feel like they have great access to it. All right, so we've done our hip follows, and now I want to do a little bit of an internal rotation exercise. So I'm going to bring my feet wide, my knees are in, and I'm going to windmill my legs from side to side. You're gonna feel that in different muscles. Check in to see what your pelvis did. If it was arching up, then you want to correct that. And so with these, it's really important that you optimize this for your body. So I want you to pause this whenever you need to so that you can do a little bit more. And then continue on. We're going to make this a short program today. And you can really get more out of this by spending a little bit longer and really taking your time and going slowly. And then we can progress as you're starting to feel better through your hips. So the next thing that I wanna do is really work on activating the gluteal muscles. So we're coming into pelvic press. Now with pelvic press, I do bring my belly button in and tuck my tailbone under, and then I squeeze my bum and I lift just a little bit. And then I come out of that and relax and come back to neutral. So often what happens with the hips is when we do have a condition like osteoarthritis and the muscles stop firing for a while, they get weaker and the gluteals get weaker too. So this exercise is to reactivate the gluteals and by tucking under first, we're biasing them a little bit more. So we're not gonna be arching through our back to get up. We're gonna be coming into this really nice activation. Press into your feet and notice where your knees are. They should be hip width apart. And so for some people, I like to put a ball between their knees. Here is my lovely Pilates ball. I'm squeezing into it, finding my pelvic tilt squeezing through the bum and the inner thighs and coming up just a little bit here. And if it feels nice for my shoulders, I can also bring my arms up at this point and reaching up. So by reaching forward without bringing the shoulder blades up, I am activating a muscle in the rib area that's going to be helpful for me to have stability through the shoulders. So I want you to do this you have a little bit of a cranky shoulder uh, and you want to just stay here or you can come overhead on the way up and as you come down bring your arms all the way down so coming into a nice arm mobilization and all the way down so with discomfort through this area. Is this all you're going to do? No, but this specific clinical Pilates class is more about mobility and focusing on a little bit of control and stability through that. So it's meant to make you feel better, not worse. And you want to do this at a point where you're a little bit uh, sensitive. So as you get stronger, there's a lot more that we can do to increase strength through this area and a little bit more dynamically. But for now, this is a really nice program for you to begin with. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you did enjoy this. I will be having different classes that might be inspired by specific 
client in the clinic or it might be something that I feel is really worthwhile for the general public but it will be geared towards working with someone clinically on an issue now please know that everyone is completely different and so if I am working with someone on something specifically that may or may not be right for you so please listen to your body and see if it's your therapist if you haven't already if you're having quite a lot of pain there's so much that we can do to help and that's what we're here for so thank you so much for joining and i hope that you subscribe and then i'll see you again